Hi guys, um, I'm Sanjay and today we are going to create the bucket for our next tutorial actually. So we'll create a new bucket which will be our Terraform, uh, so which will be the bucket to st store our Terraform state file and we'll use Terraform to create the, this bucket. So let's go ahead and do that. So I already created an empty repository which will use that. GCS bucket. Let's clone this one. All right, we got our, uh, so we'll create three files. For this is main.tf. And we'll externalize all the, all the variables. So we'll create variables.tf for our variable declaration. And we'll create the terraform.tf ORs for a variable definition. All right. Now let's create this one. So first we have to save what is our provider. So provider is Google. So if you want to mention the project here, you can mention it here. Otherwise you can mention it in the resource area. So resource, we are going to use Google storage bucket. So this is the Terraform page where we can see what all uh, what all are the required parameter we need to use. So we have to give it a name. So let's define the variable whatever the variable we need. So location Let's use default as a US East one. Project. Let's use the default project that we got. We don't need life cycle rule, action retention policy. We, we can we can use the storage class. So there are storage class. We can use multi region means you can have multi region bucket where you can go like um, global, regional, near line, code line. These are near line, code line. You can uh, you can read the Google documentation for near line and code line, but. Uh, it's like uh, when you want to use uh, data in once in a month or something, you should use uh, near line if you're going to use the data. If you're not going to use data for six months or something, or then you, you, you'll use the code line. So this is why the storage class mentioned as a near line and code line, but yeah, we'll use the storage class as a regional for now.
let's Project we already mentioned is a default, so we don't have to mention that one. Project ID we already mentioned, so storage class we can mention there because we didn't mention anything as a default. Okay. All right. Now let's do our main.tf name is equal to var dot bucket name project is equal to var dot project ID storage class is equal to or dot storage class location I guess look at location yes I think this is it mm, that will do so let's go ahead and run this one To Terraform plan to Terraform it, install all the plugins. Now it's installing Google plugin from uh, Azure Crops. All right, let's do Terraform plan. What it's gonna do? All right, it's good. So, Terraform plan will create uh, the location is US East one. You see, name of the bucket will be this, project will be this. All right. Let's do Terraform apply. Say yes. It's creating the bucket. Now bucket is created. Let's see on our console. Let's go to storage. All right, our Terraform state bucket is ready. So that's it guys so means right now means i'm running every command for terraform my my commands are running fine because i already authenticated my cloud sdk and if you'd like to understand the cloud sdk and uh, how you can uh, install it on windows and authenticate your project please go through my previous video i'll add the description no, i'll add that in my description all right and that is it i think uh, we'll use this bucket for our next uh, tutorial where we'll store the terraform tf state file in the bucket itself will not keep it local in our computer we'll keep it in google cloud storage bucket all right guys if you have any question just um, just comment it there and i'll i'll reply back thank you very much